Hi, and welcome back to another podcast with Mr. Hagen. And on this podcast, we're going to look at what happens when one curve shifts at a time and when both curves are on the graph. So let's get right at it. And the first graph that we're going to look at is an increase in demand. So what happens when you get an increase in demand? Well, remember, an increase in demand is a right shift in the curve. Why? Because remember, demand curves only shift right and left. They only shift right and left. They never shift up and down. They never shift up and down. They only shift right and left. So what happens when the demand curve shifts to the right? Well, when the demand curve shifts to the right, then the entire curve shifts out to the right, and we call that D2. Okay, first thing that we do is we find the new equilibrium point. So the new equilibrium point is going to be up here. That's going to be at a higher price, call it P2. And the new quantity is going to be at Q2, which is an increase in quantity. Now the key to doing this was just was to find the new equilibrium point, which is the new intersection point between the new demand curve and the old supply curve. So we had an increase in demand. Curve shifts out to the right. So let's record what happens as a result. So as a result of this, all right, we had a, an increase in demand. That caused an increase in the price of the good, whatever the good happened to be. That caused an increase in the quantity. And then remember that that increase in quantity that's got to get two names because that increase in quantity means that consumers are buying more and that producers are selling more so we have to give that a name on the supply side and on the demand side so what do we call it on the demand side we call that an increase in demand why do i call it an increase in demand because there was a shift in the demand curve so that's an increase in demand and then I call it an increase in the quantity supplied. Why? Because we moved along the supply curve. The supply curve did not shift. We moved along the supply curve, so that is called an increase in the quantity supplied. So every single time that you get an increase in demand, the demand curve will shift to the right, and that will cause an increased price, increased quantity, increased demand, and increase in the quantity supplied. Let's take a look at the second graph. On the second graph, we are going to do another example. And on this example, we're going to do a decrease in demand. What happens if we get a decrease in demand? So an increase in demand causes the demand curve to shift to the right. A decrease in demand will cause the demand curve to shift into the left. So that will be D2. That will be a decrease in demand. What do we do next? Well, we find that intersection point where the supply curve intersects the demand curve. Right there is our new intersection point. That's going to be our new equilibrium. So then we mark it, that new equilibrium. So that new equilibrium is going to mean a new price of P2 and a new quantity of Q2. And so then we just record what happened. So what happened? Well, we got uh, a decrease in the price. We got a decrease in the quantity. And let's see, on the demand side of the market, the demand curve shifted to the right. The demand curve shifted. So we call, I'm sorry, shifted to the left. So we call that a decrease in demand. And then, did the supply curve shift? No, it didn't. We moved along the supply curve, and the quantity went down. We moved along the supply curve, and the quantity went down. So we call that a decrease in the quantity supplied. Every single time that we get a decrease in demand, that will cause a decreased price, decreased quantity, decreased demand, Decrease quantity supplied. Let's go to graph number three.
So here we are on the on the third graph, and on the first two graphs we shifted the demand curve. Uh, now we're going to shift the supply curve. So let's start by doing an increase in supply, and let's remember that supply curves only shift right and left. They never shift up and down, never shift up and down. So increased supply is a right shift in the supply curve. So let's go ahead and show it. The supply curve will shift out to the right to S2. And when the supply curve shifts out to the right to S2, what's that? What's going to happen? Well, find your new equilibrium point. Find that new equilibrium point. That new equilibrium point is going to be that intersection point between the new supply curve and the original demand curve. That's my equilibrium point. So what's going to happen to price as a result? Well, at that new equilibrium point, we chart our price, which is P2. And then we chart our quantity, which is going to be, our new quantity is going to be Q2. And so that means we're going to get a decrease in the price and an increase in the quantity. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and write that down. So I'm going to get a decrease in the price and an increase in the quantity. And that will always happen when we get an increase in supply, when the supply curve shifts to the right. How do I know that it was an increase in supply? Because the curve shifted. So I call that an increase in supply. What happened on the demand side of the market? Did the demand curve shift? No, it did not. We moved along the demand curve. The demand curve did not shift. We moved along the demand curve. And uh, that's not a decrease. It's not down. It's right. We moved right along the demand curve. Just look what happened to the quantity. The quantity increased from Q1 to Q2 as we moved along the demand curve. So that is called an increase in quantity demanded. That's an increase in the quantity demanded. Okay, so now let's take a look at our fourth and final graph. The last thing that can happen is uh, that we could get a decrease in supply. That's the last thing that could happen is a decrease in supply. So remember, supply does not shift right and left. Supply, sorry, supply only shifts right and left. Supply, what does it not do? It does not shift up and down. Supply does not shift up and down. It only shifts right and left. So what happens if the supply curve, if we get a decrease in supply, that would be a left shift in the supply curve. So let's draw it, left shift in the supply curve. Supply curve would shift to the left. Call that S2. If the supply curve shifts to the left, then we find our new equilibrium point. That's always going to be where the new supply curve intersects the original demand curve. And we chart it. So that's going to be a new price of P2 and a new quantity Q2. And so what happens to the price when you get a decrease in supply when the supply curve shifts left? That's going to cause an increase in the price and a decrease in the quantity. And that's going to be true every time that you get a decrease in supply. So, so let's write it up. Let's record what happened. We got an increase in the price of the good. We got a decrease in the quantity of the good. And that was a decrease in supply. How did I know it was a decrease in supply? I knew it was a decrease in supply because the supply curve shifted. The supply curve shifted. The curve moved. So that's called supply, decrease in supply. And then finally, what happened on the demand side? On the demand side, the quantity went down. So that's going to be decrease. And we moved along the demand curve. We moved along the demand curve. So that's quantity demanded. So we would say that that would be a decrease in the quantity demanded. Don't be fooled in the thinking that this is up and so increase. You moved up the demand curve. No, we moved left along the demand curve on the horizontal axis. Decrease in the quantity. Decrease in the quantity demanded. So that's what happens when uh, one curve shifts. Those are the four possible graphs, and they are the only four possible things that can happen. On the next podcast, we'll take a look at what happens when both curves shifts. We'll see you on the next podcast. This has been Mr. Hagen.